Welcome back to the channel, guys and gals. If you watched the last video, I went over to Menards here in St. Joseph, Missouri. And I was after a few things, and of course I had to stop at the train section, because you just cannot go to Menards without going to see the trains. You have to, you know, it's kind of a rite of passage, if you will. So, while I was over there, uh, I did pick up some stuff I was after. And um, so we're going to look at that real quick. I picked up six pieces of quarter inch by three inch by 24 inch basswood. This is the bottom for the next set of kettle cars and will also serve purpose for the um, um, water car I'm going to be building. So this right here will keep me busy for quite a while and I might have at least one or two leftover pieces. Um, which is just fine, okay? I also picked up excuse me real quick, we had a landslide over here. Uh, I picked up some of these wood, these uh, wood uh, quarter inch by 12 inch sticks of, of uh, square stock made by Madison Mill. It's called Popular Squares, which is the same material at, at uh, Hobby Lobby or even Menards. For one piece of 36 inch quarter inch like this was $1.36. And I paid $3.48 per package for this. And it's got 12 pieces in here, so you're looking at, you got an extra piece in here for free on each one. At $1.36 for one piece, if I was to get three pieces, it would not be more than just one package. So I wound up getting four packages at three dollars and forty-eight cents a piece, and this will last me for everything I, you know, want to do for the test, sound test, and uh, this also may serve as some extra pieces left over. Might build some bumpers. Who knows? If you get some short pieces, build a bumper. You know, build a track bumper. So it's all useful, and everything will get used. There's nothing in here that wouldn't come out. Uh, when I broke it all down. I actually figured I came out about four dollars cheaper going this route than using just getting one 36 inch stick. So it came out cheaper. And again, Menard sells it. Madison Mill is over in the wood section by the crafts, and um, very cheap, very cheap, and very easy to work with. So that was that. Plenty there to do the rail ties or whatever else you want to use it for. Um, I also went over and I looked at some of their track because as the layout's getting ready, are getting ready to be built sometime towards the next month, maybe the end of next month, I needed to start looking at some stuff and I knew I was going to have to have a couple of extra curves in there because of the way I'm shaping one section of it. So I picked up so, uh, four pieces of 096 curve. Um, this will be for the turnout when it, for the two drop-in sections. So that will cover that. Um, again, I was actually real surprised, real surprised. It was a dollar cheaper here in St. Joseph, Missouri than it is in some of the other locations. And I, I'm guessing it has something to do with their tax, taxes up there or something. I don't know. Um, if y'all caught it on the video, they also sell 084, which I was, I was kind of hoping they had some, but they were out of stock on it. Uh, because once I order my Ross template switches, I need some turnouts to go on it to allow for the trains to go in. And being the fact that I do have very large rolling stock, I don't like a big overhang. But I did pick up three pieces of 072. Uh, 
to help facilitate that, so I figured in with the big rolling stock, it still, you know, roll through just fine. And maybe I was going to have a little bit of an overhang coming off that switch, um, but it's not going to be much of one at all. So, but if I can happen to find some 084, I believe Menard's return policy is that they, you know, take it to any store and return it as long as it's not used. I'm not too sure. I have got to call and ask him on that. So, we'll find out. If I find a place to get the 084, I'll see if I can exchange it. This one right here, the 072, was $3. Let me not lie to you. Where's my receipt here? $3.99 for the 072 curve. Which, even at that, that is still cheap. That's not bad. Even when you put the make your rail ties to go in here, you're still coming out cheaper than line L. Um, yeah, the, o, the 096 curves were $3.99 as well. And that's, you know, not, that's not bad. It's still a dollar cheaper than some of the other Menards I've been to. Now, I did accidentally grab a piece of 036, which was a pure accident. I didn't even realize I picked it up. But, here it is. That 036 card right there was $2. Which, when I get to another Menards, I'll exchange it. No big deal. You know, send it back, get my money back. No big deal. Or who knows, I might just keep it for, I don't know. Who knows? We'll figure out something to do with that. Because I do have some 027 track at the house as well. All right, so I also picked up four D-sized batteries. Can anybody guess what this was for? Well, it has two purposes. One, because of my flashlight. Um, these are Rayvac Fusion. I've honestly never used Rayvac, but. I guess it's a decent battery for what I'm going to use it for. But that goes back to the Hymic. I had to do some research on it, and it was D-cell batteries. So, we're going to try to do a minor test run later. Maybe later tonight or something like that. Just up and back across some track that I've already got here in the truck. Just see how it does. Okay? Try to get that done. I'm not going to guarantee anything depending on weather. Again, if not, then we'll just have to do it when I get home. All right, now for the big reveal. Y'all all heard me say something about I wanted to do a review on Menard's Husky Stack Trip cars. Or the NMO. And yes, I did. I picked one up. Um, this one right here was... $49, which I will have to put the money back in the bank here in just a little bit. But, no big deal. Uh, they had it marked wrong. Uh, they had it marked as, I think it was like 36 on the tag, and she rang it up to 49 The other lady was very apologetic to me. Still feel like they should have gave it to me for the price was marked on the shelf, but they didn't. And that's okay. I'll just put the money back in the bank here in a little bit. No big deal. And that would have been my $50 I was going to spend. Now, I've seen there's a lot of really good reviews on these. They did have the ones without the uh, cars in it. For what it is, it's got a decent weight to it. 
uh, well, it's not like you're Lionel or MTH or even, you know, you know, your three rails or, you know, whatever, Atlas. It doesn't have that, all that. It doesn't have all the details those guys would have. Um, plastic trucks. Feels like plastic cuppers. Metal wheels. It is riveted in. That's cool. I really wish they would have gone metal trucks on these. That I will give them. And of course, you know, it's got, it's real shiny up here, but you can put that dull coat or if you're going to weather them, it's not going to matter. We got two containers. They lift right out. Uh, I've heard you can put other models of containers in here, such as like, I think from Atlas or something like that, you can put them in here. That'll fit as well. Um, they do come apart and they have little bitty pins in there so be very very careful with those pins um, that's pretty cool that they do that now this is kind of a little bit towards the later end of the models I like to, I like to model it's got a deep well in it. Um, it's not a bad uh, little thing, little weight. I think the metal trucks would have been better. If you want to change them out, you can. I would suggest going with Atlas trucks on it. That'll help give it some extra weight. And if you're going to do some any extra detailing, of course, naturally, you're going to be adding some weight to it. Uh, part of what led me to get this one was one because just for a, a little review, just my personal thoughts on it. Um, it does have the brake wheel, air cylinders up here. But I was like, hmm, I wonder. Now, this is a pretty nice bottle. And in case y'all are wondering, this is where the idea for the skirting came from on the King Kepner Ranch cattle cars. This right here. So my idea came along as I was looking at this and decided I was going to do a review on it. Was what if you could take a cattle car body and stick it on top of it? Why not, right? So here's one of the, the cattle car bodies that I've been working on. It already has been cut. So let's just take a look here. Wow, that's uh, quite interesting. So if you were to get some of these cattle car bodies, I mean, it's lining right up on the body. And you were to go here, well, I've got a brake wheel down there. I don't want to break that off. So, but let's just go right here. Well, I mean, of course, the body itself would have to be modified, but you could actually build the single pedal cars, and that might be something I might do in the future. Um, that would, uh, be kind of nice, I think. I think that would work out really nice as a future project to see how it would turn out. Because, again, I'd have to buy two of these to be able to make it, because you could put one at one end. And then split the difference with another one down over here to be able to make the complete cattle car. So that might be something to look at in the future. Who knows? The containers, very nice detail. Again, price wise, you can't beat it. Very nice. Nice graphics. 
The doors do not open, but they do have them painted so that you can see the railing. And that is very, very cool. A little bit of a see-through, but you could probably do something with that if you wanted to, like paint the inside of it. I don't see any reason why you couldn't. It does have four little notches in there. Inside, I don't know if y'all can see them in the corners, where these will sit in there. That keeps them secure, so they don't move around. Uh, I'm actually, uh, you could possibly screw them down if you really wanted to, if you didn't want them rocking at all. Um, you know, overall, I'm going to say that this is actually a pretty nice little model. Uh, I would say, price-wise, it is very worth it. Um, you know, is it going to be a perfect every time out of the box? No. Okay, Menards is cornering the market on this stuff. Uh, and it comes down to the fact that does it have all the details? No. Uh, but it does give you something that you can buy new without the price of Lionel, MTH, or even Atlas. Uh, it, it, it's, I mean, it is what it is. I mean, if you got a problem with the coupler, rubber band it, glue it, whatever you got to do, you're fine. Uh, again, this was $49. And a Line L or MTH Atlas would probably cost you double that amount, if not triple. So, yes. Is it scale? Um, scale length? No. Scale height? Pretty close. Scale width? Let's find out. Believe it or not, yes, it is dead on two and a half inches wide. That is awesome. Um, now that really has me fired up to want to buy a couple of those and the one without the, the containers on it. These do come in multiple different road numbers, which I did see that while I was there inside the store. And you can also get these without the containers that are about 10 or $15 cheaper than what this was. Um, yeah, that's, <laughs> wow, that's cool. Oh, yeah. Yep, we are definitely going to have to build one. So, again, you know, if you don't like the rocking of these right here and you don't really want to move them because they're just going to be running, you can blow them down. And then again, you can also take one off. Oh, come on. You know, like take one off and just leave one sitting in there. And you're still prototypical. So that's, that's cool. So yes, I'm looking forward to getting home, seeing this one run, and give it a good test and a good, good overview of it. And see how it pulls with the auto rack I already have there at the house. Um, anybody that follows this channel, y'all know I run some big rolling stock. So that's just my thing. I'm from Texas. Go big or go home. You know, bigger the better. That's a Texas thing. Don't ask. <laughs> However, it has been fun. This video has been fun, along with you know, sharing my purchases. Y'all have a more a better idea of what's coming up. And y'all got to see a quick review, without it running, of the Menards stack train. And maybe a future build that might be coming up with doing this, maybe some single cattle cars or something. Who knows? As always, if you like what you saw tonight, or today, 
tonight. You can tell I'm used to doing things at night, right? If you like what you saw today, please hit that like button and subscribe. Drop some comments. Let's have some fun here on this video. This is what this channel is about, you know. It's all about learning and having a good time. Please keep the shiny side up and rubber down. I will see you on another video. Maybe tonight? I got some driving to do because I got to start heading towards St. Louis, Missouri. And I will see y'all then. Please keep the shiny side up, rubber down. See you in the next video. Take it easy, guys.